the main reason that I have been so successful and I've been able to build such a, um, you know, a, a, a nationally renowned business that's now making waves you know, even in the British government uh, supply market with, you know, without any external investment or anything, um, is that I have quite a unique perspective um, that's been brought by um, being female but having had a male upbringing. Um, and I think still girls today aren't being um, afforded that, that opportunity. And it's something that I've, I'm, I'm, I started to do some, some work on within the IT industry to really try and encourage girls towards IT, not, not at sort of 15 or um, 16, but actually really quite young, you know, at sort of ages of, of six and seven. In the tech world, I basically lost my career doing that. Um, I ended up working when I was full-time transitioned and um, they just walked me out the door. That's all. It was that simple. I still every morning have to argue and fight with myself. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get in there. Go see these people, go take care of, go take care of them and help them out, you know. And, and to me, I think that, you know, I still have my struggles, but I still feel like it's even a bit more rewarding now than it was before because I'm doing more. Uh, than just helping them with their problems as it pertains to IT, but I'm helping them understand something about humanity and about, you know, about transition and trans people in general.